Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. Today uh, we're going to do a review and installation of this Wavelink uh, Wi-Fi 7 BE8800 M2 module. Uh, and just to be upfront, they did send this to me uh, for free to do a video on, but they're not seeing this video before I upload it. And all my opinions are my own, so um you know on that they just sent it to me to make a video and i don't have wi-fi 7 in my laptop i just have wi-fi 5 so i'm gonna put it my uh, msi gaming laptop here and i'm gonna test it out see what the speeds are um this chip also has bluetooth in it so if your laptop doesn't have bluetooth you can install this chip and use like an xbox gaming controller um but here in a minute i'll open this and it does come with a little screwdriver to help you install it if you don't have one. And once I get it installed on my laptop, I'm going to be hooking it up to my new uh, U7 Pro Wi-Fi 7 access point from Ubiquity. Um, it does have a 2.5 gig Ethernet point, port on it. <clears throat> and I have it connected with a Cat6 Ethernet cable down to my 2.5 gig PoE switch. Um, now, I only have a gigabit internet connection here at my house from my ISP. Um, so, uh, to test this thoroughly, I'm going to run some speed tests, you know, just out to the internet. And then I'm also going to do a uh, open speed test to my Unraid server. But we'll get this opened here. And uh, these Gennard snips here, they come in real handy. They'll cut through anything. I love these things. So, we'll get this opened here. There's a little screwdriver it comes with. It gives you a little screw to install it if you lost the one that was in your laptop or if you needed a different one. Some installation instructions. Well, the back of it uh, tells you what model it is, Wi-Fi 7. It has some uh, introduction on the back. And this is what the actual chip looks like. It has up top two little ports to install your antennas. And it looks like a little tiny uh, NVMe SSD, but it's your Wi-Fi 7 chip. And a little uh, it's got Bluetooth built in. Uh, so here in a minute, I'll get my camera readjusted and I'll start taking my laptop apart and remove all these screws and show you installing it. I'm gonna use their little uh, screwdriver here to take all the screws out of the bottom of my laptop here. Um, depending on your laptop, uh, it can be diff more difficult or less difficult to take the bottom of your laptop off, but there's some documentation I'm sure you could find online. I know iFixit has some good documentation on laptops, um, but just figure out a way to take off the bottom of your laptop to get to this chip. And here's a little bit closer look at look at the chip. Uh, you got your two antennas, and then you got your uh, pins that go into the key. But I'll get started taking off all these screws here. Now that I got all the screws undone, I just gotta pop this off here. And that's probably easier said than done. Helps if you get all the screws undone. There we go. Let's take that off. And on mine, my Wi Fi chip is right here above my SSD. I got a four terabyte SSD in here because that's the only uh, storage I have on this laptop. And as you can see now, that fan right there is really dirty. So if you're opening uh, up your own laptop, now's a good time to clean it out and get all the dust out of it. But it's just as simple as undoing the screw on your old one, uh, putting this one in, putting the screw in, and then attaching your antennas on there. And I'm going to use their screwdriver again. It comes in handy. Just take it, unscrew your old one, pull it out of there, and then to get your antennas off, you just um, bend them off. Not bend them, but, you know, pull them off. Be gentle with them, that way you don't break anything. And the one with the red goes, I don't think it matters, but it's listed as one. And let me see if this one here, yep, this one here has one and two. I don't know if you can see that next to where the antennas hook on. So we're just gonna take this, 
and solder into here. Well, I'll hook on the antennas real quick. As simple as just clicking it on. All right, there we go. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Just takes some patience. I don't think you need this. It's just a little clear plastic thing, no one hat on, but I'm gonna stick it on the this one. You probably don't need it. Keys back in there. Grab your screwdriver. Make sure your antennas are out of the way. Make sure you're not gonna cross thread it. There we go. Tighten her down. Move the antennas out of the way, make sure they're still on. And there you go. Did take this outside and use my air compressor and I blew out these fans. Like I said, it's a good time to clean out your laptop while you got it open. Uh, but I'm just gonna get this cover panel on. Once you get it installed in your laptop, um, before you install it, you should probably download their drivers off their website. It comes in a little, the packaging. Um, that way you have the driver to click install after you install the card because I had no internet um, because you have to manually install the driver. So I just ended up using an ethernet cable and hardwiring it to my laptop and that's how I have internet right now so I can download their driver. Um, but it says here in the paper that it uh, gives you go to wavelength.com without a e, you know without a e because I was putting that e up there um, next to the v. I'm like this doesn't look right. But anyways, you go to support, and then you go uh, to driver, and then enter product model. And the bottom of the card here, that's the model. I just typed that in, and it brought me to the driver. So wl dash W N six eight five B E three M and then we'll hit search. And then down here I just clicked on the model and then download driver for that model that you have. And I have Windows eleven, so we'll hit Windows and that'll start downloading and uh, as you can see here, it's I have already downloaded it, so I will click on it. Wait for it to pop up here. And this is just in my downloads folder. You click on the file. Now we'll install the Bluetooth driver here. We'll just click on that and hit run. And this is just the file that it downloaded. You just hit yes on it. And we'll let it do its thing here and pop up the installer. All right, apparently I've already had a version of this on my laptop, so we'll just go ahead and hit yes. Next. Next. I accept. Next. We'll just do typical. Install. And finish. All right. And as you can see here, we have Bluetooth now. So if I hit that, it'll search for Bluetooth devices. I found my TV. So you can connect a controller to your laptop. You can connect uh, audio devices to your laptop. Basically anything you want, uh, Bluetooth-wise. To uh, connect a Bluetooth device, it's pretty simple. I got my Xbox controller here. You just press and hold it. And then there's a button here on the end. You press and hold that starts blinking fast and then on the list here it says xbox controller so you click on that and it's connected and it turns solid and now i can use my xbox controller with this card so if your laptop didn't have bluetooth you install this card you can control uh connect xbox controllers you know bluetooth mouse uh anything you want so we'll click on the wi-fi driver hit run and we'll wait for it to pop up here. Uh, you hit yes. And then mine took a minute for the installer to pop up. It is set here and loaded for a minute, but all right, that popped up quicker. So we'll hit next. Uh, yes, I agree, install. And I seen that it's using Intel and that's really good. Uh, Intel chipsets are really good. They work really well. Uh, so we'll wait for this to install here. Hey, hey. 
And now, before when I clicked on this, I just had VPN right here, but now after I installed that driver, available. So I just click here and um, I can see all my wireless networks. And Walker, the Wolkerson Wi-Fi 6E, um, that is my U7 Pro here, because um, that's the six gigahertz band. Um, this Wilkerson Wi-Fi is the five gigahertz band. Um, and then my 2.4 is Wilkerson Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. So I separated my bands so I could connect to whatever one I wanted. So we will connect to Wilkerson Wi-Fi 6E. Connect, type in my super secret password. And it connected. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and let it access my location. So now, if I undo my Ethernet cable, I am on the Wi-Fi. So we will load a website here. Let's go to Google. Hey, it popped up. All right, we'll run a quick speed test here with uh, speedtest.net. Uh, speedtest.net is currently down. So we're gonna use fast.com. Um, still connected to the Wi-Fi, uh, works on Wi-Fi 6E. So we will go to fast.com and see what kind of speeds we get. I need to turn off my VPN because I said I was being blocked. So <laughs> we will see what kind of speeds I get now without the VPN. Oh, heck yeah. 970, a gigabit per second over Wi-Fi. Heck yeah. A gigabit per second over Wi-Fi. I'll show. I would show you the upload, but I think it shows my uh, public IP address. But I believe the upload speed is just as fast as the download speed. But a gigabit per second over Wi-Fi. Uh, we'll try it here on my local network, and uh, we can test the upload speed on my local network using uh, Open Speed Test. Two dot one six eight dot four dot four colon 3000 and we'll see what we get over Wi-Fi heck yeah over a gig over Wi-Fi <laughs> that's the fastest I've seen on this laptop over Wi-Fi with this slow when I had the slow thing in it, it was only like three four hundred this chip is awesome all right we'll see here upload speed creaking creeping up on there almost five six hundred Heck yeah. That download speed's amazing. The upload speed's pretty uh, fast too. And 7 millisecond ping. And that's over a Wi Fi. Heck yeah. All right. Well, um, I'll uh, do my closing thoughts here in a minute. But so far, I know this thing's amazing. My uh, closing thoughts on this uh, Wi Fi 7 um, card M2 module. Uh, I love this thing. It's definitely an upgrade from my old one. I have Wi-Fi 7 on my laptop now. I can get over gigabit speeds uh, download over Wi-Fi. So if I don't uh, want to be attached to a cable, uh, you know, I get faster speeds now for file transfers. And also, too, I have better Bluetooth probably than what was already in here. So now my controller, if I play any games, won't mess up, you know, won't cause me any lag over the old one because I never used the old one because I had problems with it. Um, but this Wavelink uh, Wi-Fi 7 BE 880M2 module, um, I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you guys can easily find where to buy it. And I just want to thank Wavelink for sending this to me for review. Like I said, um, they're not looking over this before I upload it. Um, so all these opinions are my own. Uh, I really do love this thing. All right, well, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.